Hello Hunters, it's Drew, here with another informal chat type video. I am getting organized to repair a series of grounded switch axe videos and element switch axe, but I want to talk about poison before that. I have some gameplay here of a poison build with a seizing basil geese. The build is more or less my male palfire set with defense boost but using the Remobo switch axe instead. Before I go any further, I want to acknowledge some awesome monster math creators out there. Uh, Fox Invictus, you probably already know, helps the community a tremendous amount with his switch axe math. And I will be using his switch axe damage calculator that I have tweaked slightly for my purposes in this video. But this calculator is his hard work and I don't want to take any credit for that here. And Dreaming Suntide had a really informative video about status damage. And it kind of really motivated me to take a look at this for switch axe. They both have some really awesome math content out there, and if you're really interested in that kind of thing, please go check them out. Okay, so, this run with the Poison Switch Axe, I finished the Basil Hunt in about 3 minutes, sorry for the spoilers, <laughs> and apply Poison about 5 times. For a Seizing Basil, each application deals 600 damage total, so the total damage you apply here is about 3000 damage. I have another run here with the Diora Ice Switch Axe. Which is an amazing matchup against Seizing Basil Geese. The monster has a 25 ice hit zone on both its face and its tail. And my time for that was 2 minutes and 50 seconds. This also used a male Pelifier build with maxed out ice attack. Now, it's worth saying that I'm not talking about speedrun times or anything like that. This is just, you know, from engagement to the monster to death. I'm only caring about the actual hunt here. However, Comparing two completely different runs isn't really a fantastic comparison. However, I think that it's worth pointing out that Poison is not massively behind. So I think that if Poison was significantly weaker, we should be able to see that in a comparison like this. So, how can we compare the damage dealt between a Poison Switch Axe and an Ice Switch Axe? I filled the round with Fox Invictus's damage calculator, I put my build into it, and adjusted the hit zone values to match what we would expect from a seizing basil geese, which is mostly hitting the face and the tail, and sometimes the legs. We get a result of the average damage we would deal for both of these weapons from a Rapid Morph Loop, which is the bread and butter of the ground of playstyle, and the majority of the damage that I'm dealing with my hunt here. For Kushala, I have 196 raw and 294 ice for a total of 1490 damage. And for Remobra, I have 1,239 raw. I made some adjustment to the calculator to have a better understanding of how much damage comes from raw and how much comes from element. Some extra notes here are that for the element, I have 5 ice attack. And for the poison Remobra, I have 2 points in 4A. So, to reiterate what these numbers mean, the numbers are an average amount of damage that this Rapid Warp combo string will do across an entire hunt against this monster. The way I see us getting a rough idea of our poison damage across an entire hunt is taking the length of my hunt, 180 seconds, and determining how much poison would be contributing to the whole hunt per second. So this would be 3000 poison damage, divided by 180 seconds, which is 16 and 2 thirds. A Rapid Morph Loop combo string takes approximately 4.5 seconds to perform. So we'll multiply this by four and a half to get 75 poison damage that would be dealt during our Rapid Morph combo. So similar to combining ice damage, we add our poison damage to this for the Bromobra Switch Axe. And when we add this together, we get 1,314. So poison compared to ice in a heavily ice feared matchup is about 13.4% weaker for our typical Rapid Morph Loop on Ground and Playstyle. And depending how you see this, I think this makes Poison look pretty good. This matchup heavily favors Ice, and an example of one that is a good Poison matchup is Kushawa, or Bazarios, who take 1050 damage per Poison application. For weapon in a build that is used against any monster, to me this Poison build seems pretty good. So, obviously this isn't definitive or anything, as just based on my own gameplay, and there's a ton of other factors to consider, but I think there's enough to indicate that a Poison Raw build is pretty strong, and it's not astronomically worse than playing Element, even when compared to a heavily Element favored matchup. With Element Switch X being so powerful in Rise, I think it's easy to get a little carried away with how powerful it is. Of course, 
when every second matters to you and you're speedrunning, this conversation is pretty moot. But, uh, what I want to say is that for casual play, you know, it's totally fine just to play a raw type build. My early motivations on this channel was to get raw builds out, because I felt like they were a little lacking on YouTube. I think the raw builds are great if you're just looking for general use for the weapon, and it's really nice for multi-target hunts. In addition, I feel the barrier to entry to feel like you must create five builds to get started is pretty unfortunate. Switch Axe, as you all know, is an amazing weapon in Monster Horizon, and I'd want as many people to try it as possible. So having a lower entry level with these builds is pretty important to me. We have just passed 400 subscribers on this channel, and I really want to thank everyone for your continued support on this channel. I, when I put up this channel a month ago, I really didn't think that, you know, I would be getting this kind of support. So thank you so much for that. For what's next, I think Grounded Switch Act is a really interesting niche for the weapon and I'm looking to put out content around that and element, so stay tuned. As usual, thanks for watching, and take care.